Joe Jolton is moving out now for a scout to see what Kyom is doing, and he is going for his uh, barracks right here. I do not know. We will see if Kyom decides once again to do his two-gate barracks pressure, which he has done the two previous games. He is moving out with another uh, SUV, and he is building a second barracks, so it seems as though he very consistently goes two barracks against, gel uh, against Zerg players, such as Jello Gelatin. However, on Scrap Station, there's a rather long rush distance, so that gives... Thetankcast.com. That gives uh, some some benefit to Jello Gelatin, as there's a long rush distance between Kyom and Jello Gelatin's base. Uh, this game, unlike the previous ones, he is going for a fast expansion, which means he is going to need to get some Zerglings out fast to counter these fast marines that will definitely be coming out of Kyom's barracks in the next few minutes. And we do have an SCV going over to Jello Gelatin's base, which could be used just for scouting, or could be also used to set up a bunker uh, for this two-gate rush. Two barracks rush, sorry, two racks. Uh, we do have the first Marine coming out now, and two more Marines quickly being produced. Jello Gelatin now is not <coughs> just barely half done the spawning pool, uh, and getting his first extractor as well. And we do see that bunker that I was talking about earlier from Kyom right in the middle of this base, which will make it hard to rally units from either uh, his natural or his main. And now we see more SEVs and more Marines. It looks like Kyom is going to do some sort of all-in pressure. Will Jello Gelatin have enough to counteract it? We do see his three larvae being morphed all into Zerglings, as well as a queen being birthed from his main, uh, and another Zergling being created at his natural. He's also stealing a gas at Kyom's base. But here's Kyom. A lot of drones are trying to be transferred to the natural, only to see that there's bunkers being put down between his natural and his main. And now we see SCVs continuing to move out, but there's one bunker here with two marines inside of it. So these <coughs> Zerglings are going to have a tough time uh, de defeating that bunker, although they do take out one of Kyom's SCVs. If you look at the production tab, you will see <coughs> a Roach Warren is now being made. <coughs> the Roach Warren <laughs> is now being made, and Roaches are a lot better against marines than our Zerglings. So we should be able to see... Uh, if we get a good amount of roaches out, as you can see, he is saving up some good amount of money. But now here the marines coming out, they're going to retreat right back to the bunker because there are not quite enough marines to deal enough damage t um, to these zerglings. And now we do have four roaches being made. If these roaches can come out and completely destroy the marines, it may be good. And SCV is taken out, which means he will not be able to continue to hop bunkers. Kyom is now making his command center, which does seem to be his build put on pressure and then expand fast. But we do have two roaches coming out now, um, but there's not too much he can do as there are eight marines right now. Although if we keep on con continue to get enough roaches, uh, Louis may be fine. Jell Jelton may be fine. Although if you look at the Harvester tab, you can see that he is being forced to cut a lot of drones in this encounter. And there are five marines trying to push up the ramp. He will be unable to do so. Uh, but right now, Jell Jelton is in a really bad position, trying to move up and snipe the bunker, but he's going to he's gonna run away, realizing that he really cannot do quite enough, as there are, are just too many Marines. And he says, hi, you know what's cool? Bunkers are cool. <laughs> base trades. It's not going to happen, because Jell Jelton can't get out of his base. He's trapped in here, although the first game was a base trade. I don't know if you saw it, it was quite interesting. So, grats. And Jello Gelatin does does GG out of that game. Uh, understandably so, as he was down by 10, 10 uh, Harvesters, and Kyom did have an expansion, so...